Okay, so the idea of this lab is to want to use restriction and then digestion to see what's in the plasmid. So you have three kind of plasmid. One is called a uh, uh, P MSH two, and that's AG seventeen. Okay, it's basically AG seventeen. And you have another plasmid is AG, which is different number, which is the uh, mutant MSH two. And then you have an empty vector, which is PRS413. That plasmid is much smaller because it doesn't have insert. So we are going to cut with XBA1 enzyme, res endo, uh, restriction endonucleus, and APA1. So if you use a, a plasmid editor, you can find out uh, when, when we cut the plasmid with two restricted enzyme, if we cut it twice, each enzyme cut only once on the, on the PMSH2. Uh, it actually also cut once on the mutant. Once we cut this, um, you will see two band. Uh, I'm going to put the bottom one, say uh, red. So. And then there will be another one. Uh, uh, let's see. Uh, green. Well, I, can, I, I could just leave it as white, I guess. And then we can run it on the gel. And the, you can estimate the size based on how the plasma cut them. So when we, when we run the gel, uh, we actually give you something called standard ladder. Uh, uh, ladder, DNA ladder, and that's actually usually from big to small on a DNA agarose gel. And then we, th those green and the red, well I'm going to just say green, and the red will be also on a, on a gel. Then we can look at the uh, ladder on the left and estimate the size of those uh, fragments. And that's for the uh, wild type plasmid, and same thing for the mutant and the vector. That's what we are going to do. Uh, if we, in fact, how do we come up with the two enzymes? How do we come up, say, APA1, XBA1? It's because we look at the, the plasmid uh, map, find out the enzyme, see which one can we use. Uh, in, in your exam, we will sometimes we'll also give you a, a, say a fragment of DNA or a two fragment of DNA ask you which enzyme we can use to actually distinguish these two plasmids. For this uh, experiment, all you need to do, all we are doing is just distinguish the two uh, uh, plasmids with MSH2 and mutant and we can distinguish from the empty vector. For the empty vector, you should see a larger band and then a tiny bit of small band because the XBA1, APA1 is flanking the MSH2 insert on the, uh, on the carrier, the plasma carrying them. And the, on the vector, these two, the two enzymes will be so close when they on the gel, they are also two band, but the, the first band is so small, we can hardly see it because it's so small. So that's the difference. Uh, we are that's that's the purpose of the today's lab basically uh, know the uh, mechanism of a uh, restriction enzyme and how we are going to use it this is a very important attack technique in uh, molecular biology or biotechnology uh, sometimes people call it the genetic engineering it's really the same thing